Buccaneer Smite fans, welcome to our broadcast of the Latin American Regional Finals. My name is Hyres Bart, and this fine man here is the one and only Brandon Nance, a.k.a. Juice DM. Hey, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to be checking in with the Latin America qualifiers. That's right. The, re the regional qualifiers from Latin America. Uh, remember, there's also a Brazilian team coming from kind of this region, uh, South America, is as a whole. Uh, game number one here today, or rather, uh, series number one, is going to be live gaming going up against Team 404. And, uh, well, not a lot that we have, not a lot of insight that Brandon and I, I guess, have into uh, kind of who these teams are, what their path was necessarily. We saw through the qualifiers, Team 404 was, generally speaking, pretty strong in their weeklies. Right. Um, live gaming also has been a contender, but never really taking that top spot. Uh, overall here, uh, just kind of a, 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 an update of what the broadcast is going to be like. Uh, we are here in the studio in front of our lovely green wall. Uh, you may be able to see our uh, nice rim light here. It's not green. There's an obvious painting That's of true. Zeus true. and Femir. There is, but uh, <laughs> yeah, behind behind our uh, <laughs> lovely mural it. wall, um, and we'll be casting off of uh, the, the basically the, the recordings of these games. Right. So what we do not have for you, unfortunately, is the picks and the banning phase. But we do have all of the game, and uh, well. I'm pretty ready to get into him, Brandon. Are you? Yeah, I mean, fir first game of the day, we're going to see 404 going up against Live Gaming. Live. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pop on in. And, well, here we go. As you can see, uh, 404, let's go ahead and call out the teams here. We have the one and only VK Tron on Vimana. You have Oxlodion on Apollo. Topoyo on the Bacchus. Martin on Arachne. And it's going to be nicer as your six-foot chicken and... Well, they're moving up the left side of the map, looking for Live Gaming, who will be wearing the red trunks. And Brandon, if you would be so kind. Uh, we're going to see Mercury in the jungle, more than likely, at least. Uh, going to be played by Joker. Actually, wait, maybe not. Mercury has a throwing dagger. Uh, maybe it looks like he's going to be going to the duo lane uh, with Bruko's Geb. Uh, Ryuk, or R1, I'm going to say Ryuk. Ryuk, yeah, Ryuk. it's yeah, got to be a death Poseidon note. mid. Uh, NTHC 420, which is a very original name. Going to be jungling as Loki. And then we also have a tier, which is more than likely in the solo lane with that Room Forge hammer start. What is his name? Is it Barbara Roja? Who knows? It could be anything. Barbara Roja. Uh, guys, keep in mind, Bart and I have purposely avoided spoilers for these games. We do not yes. know who wins. I have no idea who wins this. We, we want to keep it as natural as possible. So while you guys at home might have an idea of what's going on, Bart and I do not. Not that Bart ever does. Yeah. No, I, I really just show up and start you know flapping my lips and hope <laughs> the right words come out. But um, let's take a look here at our early opening build. The only thing I'm seeing here that's a little bit different is going to be this Vamana opening. Is the steel mail? That's my man right here. Tapoya? Right there. Goes for the steal. Gets it. Very strong early start. Not sure where Geb was. Yeah, I mean, it, it only it only results in about, you know, 60, 70 gold. But, hey, it's, uh, it's gold nonetheless. And, and, well, yeah, you know, it's things are in the Latin American region looking pretty similar to how we see them in North America. As I mentioned, the only real difference is going to be that Vamana opening. Is that going to be a mystical mail rush for Dude, him? Dude, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it seems it. likely versus the tier with, the, uh, with that hammer. Um, if, if he gets that, he'll never die. That's right. Yeah, I mean, and... and if you've ever played against a uh, like tanky kind of burst bruiser like Vamana or Tier, when they get or even a Guan Yu, when they get that mystical mail online, the lane becomes very very different all of a sudden. But Arachne's gonna get picked up here already, knocked into the tower. Gonna take one tower bolt there. Martin probably not oh, making it out this one alive. No. The nice body blocks are coming out from VKtron, and the life steals keep it alive. But it doesn't matter. It's gonna be Loki as NTHC with your first blood, and that is uh, well, it's a tricky god to get first blood on, but secured for live gaming. Right there, VK Tron actually body blocked the Arachne for a little bit too long there. Umbrella Rank going to do some damage to the creeps, but not much else. Uh, overall, not a strong start for the boys on 404. Yeah, and honestly, though, the Vomano, he doesn't look that phased even going 2v1 here without Loki sitting at low HP. And and this is something that you're seeing maybe a little bit of inexperience coming out. Loki's going to go ahead and back here. You would normally see in North America them just go leech off the mid safely. Uh, right. There's not a lot of danger of him getting sniped out. Raw only level 4. Uh, could have sat there and really just absorbed a probably level 4, level 5. If the Arachne actually leeches properly off of mid and is able to pick up red as well with the raw, they should be able to recoup a pretty big experience gain off of that first blood on the side of 404. Oh, speaking of it, Martin might be going for it. No, he's going to back off, just leech a little bit. Uh, see the rotation coming out from Loki. We're going to check in with him. He's going to use the Vanish. Yeah. He's the speed buff. Where is he going? Yeah, the the Vanish seemed a little early, actually, there. I don't think he would have been able to turn the corner and close the distance. And, and well, I really would have maybe liked to have seen him pressure the red. I mean, it, with the fire, with the hand of the gods back up, they're definitely not going to give any uh, any real pressure on the Vamana here. So even with that first blood, Loki not really converting anything, still sitting at level 3 and really has given back all that advantage over to the side of 404. 
which is strange to me. I mean, we saw Loki rotate out of the solo lane only to ro rotate back into it. Hasn't really gained too much and has given that lead away. I mean, wave to wave right now, Martin's actually ahead in experience. Yeah, that, that's going to be, and it's going to be tough really to deal with that Arachne, I feel like, on the side of live gaming. Like, like really what they've drafted here, like Poseidon's going to be okay. Oh, this uh, is great. Especially in the mid stages of the game, but towards late game, Arachne's going to be able to eat him up. And Loki, well, Loki traditionally a, a good counter to these uh, these assassin style junglers like Arachne, uh, uh, Mercury as well. Um, it, you know, it, it, with the kind of farm he's getting, Arachne can maybe just like avoid fights with him, just dodge him, and she's going to be a bit faster with that ultimate and just go around the map finding kills of her own, kind of ignoring him. And then later in the game with appeal from the Apollo and the Bacchus, it's going to be tough for Loki or Mercury to really get a lot of damage in. I just can't believe that we just saw four people invade that with no territorial <laughs> pressure coming out from the red team there. Uh, live gaming, oh. though, taking a lot of damage here. Oh, he's definitely going down. Not really necessary was the intoxicate, but either way, they pick up a kill to tie up the board and kills, and they will get the, at least the left mid camps. Yeah, free. I'm not sure if they realize that the Loki was still only level four. They're probably expecting him to have that ultimate and, and to ult away, if not for that burst damage from the intoxicate. Much less the chain CC coming through, but uh, and not not enough for uh, the Loki to get out. Still sitting at level four. I mean, it, it, it just... We, we kind of are, are are staying on this topic maybe a bit longer than it, it warrants, but, I mean, at the end of the day here, First Blood going to a Loki that's a, a very, very carry-centric assassin out of the jungle, gank really gank-heavy as well, very level-reliant, and then to still be level 4 and falling behind the rest of the team, it, it's actually a pretty big deal. That's true. I mean, we haven't really seen too much pressure come out of the Loki. He rotated into mid. The, the Vanish was a misuse. He still didn't actually get any experience. We should have seen more. Yeah, and I mean, even with this wave falling in front of him, you know, just getting into about level four and a half. So uh, we're going into four minutes now. Um, obviously, we're going to see the camp start to respawn. Top side speed is already up, and there is a grouping from the red team. Yeah, they're going to... I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be able to do off of this. I mean, Loki's going to go back and take the orange buff, and it looks like, you know, with the blue buffs coming out, Vavana not having significant lane advantage, probably not going to see much evade going on there. I doubt the tier is really willing to play aggressive against that. Well, he's got the gold now. He can back as soon as this wave's clear. I expect that he's going to back, and that we're going to see him pick up that mystical mark. Yeah, he's, yeah, three thousand net worth is going to have enough to uh, to get that bad boy finished off here. It really, really soon. You're absolutely right. So he's actually in a great spot though, because fourteen fifty is going to finish it up. He could actually buy two wards and maybe even a potion. I mean, this is going to be a really good spot for him, and he should go back soon. But he picks up the blue buff. This might be the last wave for him until he goes back. Yeah, I mean, it, it, he'll probably get enough mana for like an umbrella ring to clear this wave out, and then just start immediately recalling. But uh, in the mid lane here, you're taking a look at, uh, at Nicer, the mid laner for 404, and well, he's gone a uh, fairly standard build here on the Raw as well. Does have an assist to his credit, but that Vampiric Shroud, early boots, and working towards that lifesteal as well. Let's take a look, checking in on the left side, however, where Bacchus may be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, we're, the maximum velocity used way, way too early. Joker gets baited a little bit by Tapoyo, who uses the belly flop to get away, and it looks like that one's going to wash out. Tears making a rotation towards the mid lane here. Looks like he's going to have the angle on the Ra. Not a lot of warding there, but they're making their way back, and Ra just too fast, but the collapse is still coming through uh -oh. from live gaming. Can they convert off of this, though? He's going to get the chain CC on to nicer, but there's just no follow-up. Where was the Poseidon there? Yeah, Loki, too. I mean, he has the ult there. He actually goes the ult. They're splitting all of their damage between two different targets, and right there, they're going to pay for it. Two ultimates down, or rather, one ultimate down. I always think that Fearless is just an ultimate because, you know, knock back <laughs> and... 8,000 damage. All of, all of the damage, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> not, you know, the Fearless Chain kind of has always been, regardless of Tears Balance State, about a 75% uh, of any uh, non-tanks health pool really at any stage of the game. So uh, until late game where Tears starts to really fall off. But that, that Fearless combo, if executed properly, is a lot of damage and it's very hard to deal with, uh, especially oh. if there's good setup. Joker finds himself a kill. Uh, helping Live Gaming out there a bit in the left side lane. That's a good kill onto the Apollo, keeping him down, stopping those Heartseeker, I'm sorry, Dev Glove stacks from really getting up. And as you can see, he's just kind of finished off that item. And this just slows down his timing a lot. Martin's being a little greedy here. He could have and should have rotated into the dual lane to pick up some experience, but instead uh, will be forced away by Geb. He'll split one Harpy. Here's a good example of kind of maybe the difference between how the North Americans, Europeans are playing the game versus how the Latin Americans are playing right now. You see that orange buff is up and Arachne going forward. It was up for about 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, that wouldn't really fly, I don't think, in uh, in the, the North American or European regions. You usually see those buffs. Especially NA, I mean. Very, very early by the duo. Speed buff is just, speed buff is life. Yeah, that, I mean, that's one thing that we're seeing out of 404 that we're not seeing out of live gaming, especially, is, is Bacchus was there to help kind of support and secure that orange buff. Yeah. Uh, granted, they were a little bit off of the timer, but that it's just kind of indicating me 404 seems to be a bit ahead of live gaming here. A couple of easy mistakes given up by uh, the boys of LG. 
you know, even with the fact that he doesn't have Midas Boots up just yet, I'm just, yeah, there they go, actually. Bacchus is still ahead uh, by about 200 gold right now, as you see those Midas Boots. Yeah, you got the credit online. for that kill on the Loki, too, which is helping out. Yeah. And that's, that's trouble. I mean, Geb has been online for a while. We really haven't seen much from him. There have been no saving shields. Mm. Uh, there have been no hard rotations. The one thing that we've seen him do so far is kind of just pick that Arachne to make sure that she couldn't rotate into the duo. Yeah, I mean, even even when the Mercury was diving into that, that duo lane tower, he wasn't really there to help bail him out. But, um, you know, it's been spending a little bit more time in the mid lane here. But, like I said, it's going to be tough uh, considering that Loki really needed a leech there. But Loki's done a pretty good job of recovering now, sitting at level 8. Has caught pace with Martin. So uh, a couple of assists to his credit. Now, I'm sorry, no assists, just the kill to his credit. Loki actually getting credit for that, that first blood, of course, and dying in the mid lane. No kills happening there. But yeah, uh, Martin maybe with the right idea here. It's 4 of 4. They have a pretty good bid for the Gold Fury at this stage in the game. 8 minutes 15 uh, without proper warding here, which it looks oh. like Live Gaming has. They're going to be able to move in on this. Crack they have a Poseidon as well. Oh, it's going to be a lot. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, though. They could turn this one around. They already find a kill. We're going to see one thrown back with special delivery, but a nice Mesmerize will send him out. They should deter here. They picked up one, which is more than... I definitely expected them to get the Kraken was flawless. Yeah, it was an excellently placed Kraken, but they only are able to pick up one god. And, uh, well, looking at Martin, I, I'm assuming that he picked up that Aegis Pendant after that fight, because if not, a uh, pretty big misplay there by the Spider. So, just take a look at the charts here. 1,300 in favor now. You're seeing 404 start to come back into this. They're two kills down. You saw the experience chart has always been in their favor, but the gold difference was generally waverly. In this point, we're seeing that 404 is taking a, a pretty commanding lead, and a lot of it's going to become even more difficult as Vimana uh, is no longer killable by this tier. I mean, it, it just yeah. cannot happen. Yeah, with Sprint 3 active plus a mystical male, um, yeah, there's, there's very little that really, even with a Loki helping out, they're going to be able to do there. Um, they'll need at least three gods, and one of them needs to be magic burst. They need the Poseidon to kill the Vimana. Yeah, and even then, if he reads it and gets into his ultimate before the Kraken hits, he yeah, can be generally fine. walk out of the Mason damage. A okay, yeah, Vamana not a god that relies very heavily on, uh, on well, <laughs> Any movement abilities to kind of save himself. <laughs> right, clear the path is great, but like it's not going to be the difference between life and death versus the Poseidon. So the cripple not going to be factoring into it that much. That raw snipe was nowhere near a target. I almost thought it was coming out from live gaming there. Maybe they <laughs> were looking for Tapoya. <laughs> Uh, but they're going to push that one back. The ult's down. Left side camp this time is going to go to live uh, gaming. Right side camp going to go to 404. So 404 uh, moving along in their item progression. You know, the Arachne has had a lot of impact on this game, I feel like. But sitting at 02 and 1, uh, definitely not going to be, like, uh, not, not a great slash line there. And not a lot of farm either. Still working to finish off the Jotun's Wrath. Over uh, any kind of any kind of early crit or pen, you know, true pen items like a Titan's Bane or the Executioner. Execution or help out the rest of the team, but Newton's Wrath here, uh, CDR. I mean, it seems like the standard build on Arachne. You like that, Brandon? I don't know. I, I go back and forth. You know, I, even I think Weakening likes to go back and forth. It really depends on what you're fighting. Uh, attack speed against this would be a little bit stronger, though, considering who she's fighting. But the escape potential of being able to put more babies down, uh, have more heals up versus a Loki might be a little bit more beneficial. It's going to come down to actually how she plays it. Versus right, here comes a Cataclysm builds. in the mid lane. It's knocking up to Poyo as well, but I'm not sure they can go in. Loki just so low. Arachne's thinking about diving this one. I doubt she's going to go in onto this. No, there's just going to be way too much. And, and she's kind of missed her mark now as well as the Tox gets wearing off. He's going to eat a crack as well, but there's the Aegis Amulet from Martin. Well played. Ross Knight coming through, but not enough to fight a kill either. Loki decides he's the one to go in, but it's going to be the dot from Martin. Going to trade that kill right back. A bit of a misplay from the Spider. Nice shot from Loki to get something out of that. Now Tapoyo's overextended as well. This should be an easy kill for live gaming. Uh, well, should be an easy kill. There it is. Joker going to get the credit for that one. That's actually probably who they wanted that on. Nonetheless, it's a two-for-one trade when all is said and done. And, well, live gaming's going to try to capitalize off of this one. I think the big trouble there was that Nicer ran out of mana. I mean, he yeah. should have been there still with support. Maybe he could have body blocked, threw in some auto attacks. That goes back to that earlier ultimate that he missed, right? That's, I mean, that's true. So I mean, he up a lot of his mana. That one spell that might have cost him that entire fight, but they're down three kills now, uh, and they're starting to even out a little bit more on live gaming. As you see the levels, um, we're seeing it a little bit more even than I think we expected. Uh, 1,200 experience still in favor of 404. Uh, but that tower is going to help a lot. Yeah, that's a really early tower. Yeah, misplayed by 404, honestly, there to not actually uh, <laughs> defend that tower. And, and it kind of, once again, goes back to that Ra being out of mana. If Ra had mana there, he clears that wave easily. They don't get the tower. 
and it doesn't kind of contribute to this uh, early snowball now that Live Gaming has put together to get back into this game off of that fight. I mean, that's, that's a lot of gold going their way. They've basically closed the gap completely, only about 700 gold separating them, so about a 1,000 gold swing in favor of Live Gaming off of that last engagement. We still need to see more pressure coming out from the Loki. I mean, we're seeing very late ultimates. I don't feel like he's going the assassin route here. He's being very... Uh, a little bit too careful, I think. He needs to go a little bit more forward uh, to make sure that he's going to be able to get those kills. Martin just getting into level 11 behind an experience now, even though he was ahead before. Uh, that is one thing I think that uh, THC has been doing well. I mean, the farm has gotten so much better. Yeah, I mean, I, it, I, it, the Luke's certainly not playing it poorly. Like, he's doing well in the team fights, I feel like, but the there's not a lot of pressure being put on the map when having this kind of invisible burst carry. You really want, you know, players to be playing underneath their towers and kind of always expecting the Loki to come through and be a, a viable gank, you know, kind of threat. But it's not not the case so far. Maybe maybe you can get that going a little bit more in, in the later stages of the game. And kind of you know, speaking of this mid game, uh, live gaming, you know, the, the team that they've drafted here is very team fight centric. Besides that, Loki, uh, the Mercury is going to be very instrumental in making that all happen. Tier taking the teleport towards it looks like as well. He's going to be very important in setting up those team fights and they have to get Poseidon to kind of bring it all home. Where on the other side, 404 has this very extended team fight team. Apollo able to come in in the later stages and continue split pushing until the fight is absolutely breaking out. You have the Vamana who's going to be able to chase players down over long durations and do a lot of damage in the fights as well. Arachne and Robo synergize that play style very well with the dots and the heals. So overall, I like 404's kind of team composition a little bit better. Uh, the Loki and the Mercury, to me, are stretching it a little thin for live gaming in the Mid game. Well, Martin in the inventory right now does have a sentry ward. We're probably going to see him rotate over and try to clear it up, but you're seeing a little bit of defense coming out from the gap, but there's no way for him to contest that. That's 135 gold earned. Yeah, and, and there's no real contention that can, they can put up on the left side. I'm not sure if 404 realizes this. Uh, Vamana, once he spots out Loki and Tyr, they should realize they can just take this gold fury 4v3, no problem. Loki has placed seven wards, Jeez. which is a lot, and you should commend him for that, but that's a lot of gold spent and not a lot of vision actually used. Martin in some trouble here, going to be forced into the infinite web, trying to get away, and it looks like he will, but he will be deterred. This gives a great opportunity to live gaming. But, oh, wait, VK Tron trying yeah, to go in. Yeah, time, time, you know, kind of... Uh saved there, or rather time spent by Live Gaming, forcing 404 to kind of stall. They, they do the damage to the Arachne. Oh, this is is this going to be enough? He, it looks like it will. Nice job to secure that kill on the Vamana. He did use his ultimate a little bit too aggressively and didn't, uh, didn't really realize how quickly the damage would pile up on him. Kraken plus that assassinate. Always a lot of damage, kind of regardless of, uh, of who you are, how far behind you may be. It's just going to be enough there, and Vamana's going to go down. You see Joker channeling his ult in the back line. That's got to hit, looks like, three notes. Just two, I'm sorry. Here comes a major look as well. He's going to go back in with, well, no, because the Apollo has oh, been crashing in. It's going to disrupt this fight a bit. Gold Fury still doing a lot of damage to Poyo Force to try to reset it. Down goes Joker. Down goes Martin as well on the other side. Making his way out is the Loki's NTHC. And, uh, well, it's going to be 404 ultimately. It looks like it's going to secure this Gold Fury. Yeah, yes, it, it is, as the Hog comes through from the Poyo. Well played. Looks like he'll pay with his life. Can Apollo find the, eight, the hit onto that Loki? He can't. Oh, aggression. the man's just a bit off as well. He has been here for way too long. Uses the moves to get away, and smartly, the tier will deter, not going to chase the waterfall. He's going to go back to the mid lane where there are streams and rivers and all of these other things that he might be used to. That was a long, just ugly fight there. It really was. A bloody, just drawn-out, nasty fight. Uh, 4 of 4 does end up getting that gold fear, oh, and they get... Oh! oh, oh green boys! Got Lazy him. back, boys. Can't oh. be doing that. You know he was in the shop for that one. Yep, yep, he absolutely. surprised. He was looking at finishing off that Bancroft's talent, seeing how much gold he needed, and uh, it, it is, uh, he pays with his life for his hubris. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall here, live gaming, they've done a nice job in that last series of fights to once again draw that experience lead fairly close, uh, but they are still struggling in terms of kind of matching that gold game. The Gold Fury had it gone their way, they would have kind of wrestled back Ooh, nice control of this game. You, uh, you Victron, damage? Yeah. Yeah, Very smart. VK Tron looking like uh, a pretty, pretty good player, honestly, all things considered here. Um, I like the build, too. I mean, he's yeah, going defense. He's not clever. looking for a lot of damage. He's just looking to control. But given the fact that he used the ultimate a little bit too early last time and got picked off, he has to be a little bit more careful on where he's going to be able to use things. Uh, I, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit skeptical as to where this uh, this kind of Emerald Talisman build is going to be going. Yeah, like, does he really need a Stone of Gaia here? He doesn't really need a Bulwark either. The Stone of Gaia, of course, makes him basically unkillable, but it slows down his damage potential, and there's really not a lot of threat on the side of live gaming with his mystical mail complete like it's really only the Poseidon putting in magical damage 
I feel like maybe just better positioning and just buying an Aegis, he could have completely circumvented investing 3,000 gold into a magic defense item. Then again, there is no form of weakening curse or... Yeah, no anti-heal. And yeah, all the items are bought no, out, right? Yeah. I mean, unless they're going to now start some type of, you know, Brawler's Beat Stick. Yeah, well, mean, Poseidon's really, built into the Bancroft, so, I mean, he can't go back for Divine Rune at this exactly. point. Exactly. I mean, there's a lot of gold that needs to be spent for them to shut that down. So yeah, having that extra healing from Stone of Gaia might prove to be the factor. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Um, I'm looking then for a... Oh, see, look at you look at Tier. He went teleport and blink. Yeah. I mean, those are two offensive abilities, and now he's not going to have a beads or an Aegis. He can get focused very simply, especially given his build. Let's see if 404 can chase down live gaming here. They're going to get the spiders out onto the Loki. It's going to be a whirlpool as well, but Arachne doesn't seem oh. too concerned about that. Jumping in is the Poyo, and, well, between him and the Vamon, a lot of damage being dealt, and down goes the Loki as well. That's three you know. members wiped off the map of live gaming. This could very easily be a fire giant. Um, but it looks like they'd rather take the tier one for now. In one of the first fights, Bart, I think the big turning factor was that the raw didn't hit the ult, but that ult was a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's always nice hey, when wait. you get to hit the players. Oh, a lot nicer. Oh, yeah, Brandon right. Nance, everybody. Thank you, Brandon Nance. I'll be here for the rest of the cast. <laughs> this again, once again, guys, is a best of three here. Uh, this is game number one that we're looking at. The, uh, the title there, a little bit wonky. Sorry about that. It is, it is I'm sorry, uh, game number one, 0-0. Zero to zero. As a 404, well, they're looking to make it 1-0 in their favor, and, and it looks like they have a pretty good bid as Geb. Ooh. He's going to get caught out here. No, he's going to roll away. So away. He, yeah, no, no moss Kata. for the Geb, but a tier 2 going to fall. Got the dream. 1,500 gold, though, going to be added straight to the coffers, putting them up almost 6,000. They're about 6,400. They're 5,400 ahead, which is pretty strong at 18 minutes. This is kind of maybe, again, going back to, like, the team comp and, and, and live gaming here, just th their timing with their items that they're hitting now, they're getting like the Jotun's Wraths up on uh, on the Assassins, as well as Tier, right? I mean, you, you see the two Jotun's Wrath finish, Loki and Tier. You see the second crit item could be done for Mercury. And like the second crit item for Mercury, I guess, is a pretty decent power spike. But those Jotun Wraths, like, it's so late in the game now, 20 minutes to get those items done, that it's just not... I just feel like it's not going to really contribute that much. Like, having another Fearless Chain at the end of the fight and, you know, maybe having another Vantage for Loki may save his life once, but it's just nothing compared to the Executioners and the Witch Blades coming out on the side of 404. And, well, uh, looks like it's going to be the Unicorn build here for the Apollo as well. Little bit skeptical of this going into only the Wait, tier and the Geb. There's a there's There's no Witch Blade in Unicorn. Is there? No, but it's a it's a it's the same idea, right? Attack speed, penetration, right. anti boxing, like it, it's that kind of item. It'll help him out with the Mercury duels as well. So, um, all things told, it, it it fits the bill. He'll probably skip the executioner for this. Would be my that's, expectation. That's interesting. I didn't know there were things to help you against Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Alt F4, F6, all pretty good against him yeah, as well. Yeah, no, those are those will stop him from killing you. <laughs> Maybe only the dead will know peace from the suffering. <laughs> So we're going to watch N uh, NTC rotate over back to the dual lane. Uh, look, looks like he's just going to pick up some experience here. There's still a big hover towards the Gold Fury. A lot of grouping. In fact, all ten members are now on the left side of the map. Yeah, j go Loki. Go harass people. Go kill them. Split push. Yeah, like I feel like I feel like there needs to be, like, he is kind of the change that the team has to believe in, honestly. Like, it's like Loki needs to start getting 404 off balance. That, that's really the best way I can summarize it is that 404 hasn't felt like they have had to do anything to adjust their play style given the Loki, and that's why you picked this god. And now, look at this. They're in control of the vision fight. They have a sentry ward in the inventory. There's a sentry ward that has just been dropped now by Live Gaming. So they have total control, uh, which means the Gold Fury right now doesn't really belong to them, but the bait does. Looks like it's going to be that Rage Blade for the baby here coming out after the Stone of Gaia. So he's gone into the crit. It makes pretty good sense in this matchup, although I would have rather have seen the Witch Blade, honestly, uh -oh. on him instead of the Apollo. As you mentioned, like, there's a Cataclysm hitting three, but do they have enough? VK Tron is the one that they kind of initially put the burst damage out. Now it's nicer in his own heal, healing up a bit. Backlines are pretty congested, though, as the Mercury and Poseidon made their way there. The Kraken is on target for Tapoya, but only hitting one, and here comes the Vamana. He doesn't have a Sprint Actus, so he's not going to be able to do too much damage. Infinite Web activated from Arachne as well, trying to make her way back into this fight. Apollo comes down. They want to finish off Poseidon, but that's the Geb Shield we've been looking for. Can they burn through it without the crit? It's going to be tough. Body blocks from Geb coming out, but they forgot about the Vamana, and he does plenty of damage. Down goes the Arachne as well as he gets tossed around by Mercury, and there's a lot of members of Live Gaming here, and only a Vamana 
Uh, not sure that Loki really wants to try to fight this, though. He's pretty powerful. That mystical male is going to start knocking him down. Mercury, he's going to die here. Yeah, yeah, down goes Mercury, and, well, they've overstayed their welcome. This is just not how you fight against Fabana. Extended engagements when he has more HP than you is never a good choice, especially when he's doing AoE burn damage. Can they get another Mez out is kind of the question. A lot of shots missed there, unfortunately, by Ox de Leon of his, you know, his passive there. So can this get chased out? I think not. Option is covered. I don't know. Oh. They oh. oh. Blink jukes. Ooh. That was cute. That was cute. That was cute. I don't really love the shield there. That was kind of yeah. Bruco, Bruco, cute though. But uh, that was really, really smart. Unfortunately uh, for Mr. Bruco, actually, wait. Here no comes Tear. Take care of it. Here comes Tear. Tear's like, uh, no, it's not funny. This is this is mine. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't reset, though, and the Fearless did not do a lot of damage. Yeah, it didn't. Fearless then basically <laughs> threw the heal. It did not enough. Box is coming in now. He's going to be able to secure this with the Hog, no problem. And now it's a, a very, very low Loki. Look at that. Look how much HP he has left. He's going to use the Bees to get out. Oh! The Bees is just enough to stop that Snipe from coming through. Well placed by Nicer there, just off the mark, however. And that's going to do enough to bring them right back into it. They maintain their lead, 4,600 gold. Or, sorry, 4,600 experience, 6,200 gold. Yeah, this is this is a real lead. This is smart. I mean, this is smart. Look look at the positioning here from Martin. He's baiting them to another yep. side of the map. This is what Arachne should be doing, just like the Loki should. Whoa, put them off balance. whoa, I don't know about that, boys. They start up the Fire Giant after uh, the D-Ward comes out, and now they want to take the fight to 404. But 404 is going to be able to rally here. Apollo's coming out of the pool. They're five strong. And now it's live gaming that's a bit compromised here. They're a little bit overextended, and uh, if 4 4 wins a fighter, even gets a couple pickoffs now, they'll be able to take the Fire Giant as everyone is coalesced on this right side of the map. You see uh, Barbaroa trying to find a way to the back line, just looking for that blink fearless opportunity. You know, he's, you know he's waiting on it. It's, it's the tier dream. It's just how many people can I yeah, fearless right, at right. one time and what hopefully is, lead into a cataclysm. What is the fifth item on Arachne going to be? Let's see here. Oh, um, I would assume Midgardian. Yeah. I mean, they don't need a Mystical March. More anti-attack speed. Yeah, I think I think they're worried about this Mercury late game. Yeah, slowing him down would be really strong. Or ra or rather, Ra going to be going into Breastplate of Valor to get some CDR online. A little bit curious with the pen boost. Yeah, I mean, granted, the another Mystical Mail, I mean, they do stack. Like, it wouldn't be uh, the worst thing, but I, I think the Guardian is, is probably the better choice as well. I agree with that. Being able to, yeah, slowing down Mercury, slowing down Loki, slowing down Tyr. I mean, that'd be very, very helpful. Plus... It could technically hurt Poseidon as well if he goes for the Trident combos. Yeah, he has finished it off as well, so spot on. Spot on, that's the Midgarian. It's Mid an item that I personally love. It's super cheap. It's yeah. the, I think the, either the cheapest or second cheapest in the tree to, to hide the Nemean Lion. But, like, I would much rather have seen the Witchblade on the Arachne plus the Midgarian and then the Executioner in the Chins on the Apollo. Yeah, I think I agree with that. We're getting to the point in the game where Arachne can't really do much without defense anymore. It's just similar to her old style. She goes in, she gets caught, she dies. She must use her ultimate to deter, I mean, to, to get herself out of there as fast as possible. Yeah, the – and did she – oh, it's a hog, of course, in, in the jungle for Martin there. He's going to say, uh, you know, a fist, not the worst pickup at this stage either. Just get more stuns. I mean, as you mentioned, kind of transitioning into that defensive – uh, more, more defensive, kind of stick around, initiator, DPS style, um, or less of a DPS style. Yeah, get the fist, get your stun out, get your uh, attack speed slow, kind of defensive aura-based items as well would be nice. And, and yeah, just, just kind of be at a nuisance of the fights and, and, and do kind of what you saw earlier, like D-Ward really safely with infinite web and just kind of transition into that utility oh. role. Ryuk taking a big combo there, but smartly, you're going to see Bruko come in, get the shield off to stop the slow, bringing him to safety. Still, no attempt at the Fire Giant. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, that. I think 4-4 could have had that much earlier anyway. That's true. We're, we're, we're 26 minutes into the game. We ha really haven't seen much in terms of objectives. There's one tower down on blue. There's three tower or, sorry, two towers down on red. Uh, no phoenixes are even scratched yet. Fire Giant's barely been looked at. And there are two, th I'm sorry, three gold furies down. So far, it's been a, a pretty slow game. Yeah, with this lead, 4-4 has kind of stalled out now. Like, where, where does the next initiation happen? They got to take it. Soon. They kind of want to split push the left side with Apollo. He's he's really stuck here. But with the tears teleport to towers, it, it hasn't been that much of a threat. Tears sitting at level 19 as well. He's not going to get kind of bullied by the Apollo at this stage. So it's kind of a wash over here. Uh, granted, the Apollo scales much 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 better in the late game with this farm. But you know, stalling out right now is in favor of live gaming. Uh, just looking for good plays, good picks. But oh, Loki, you could be in a bit of trouble here, my friend. Is Vanish is going to be popped and. 
if they're smart, 404 is going to force a fight in the next 10 seconds. They, I mean, realistically, 404 is wasting a lot of time. Yeah. They have two people at level 20 already, and the longer they wait, the worse. I mean, we just saw Tier farm enough to hit level 20. That makes him, that's, you know, that's more health, that's more defense, it's more damage. And they're just letting it happen. Uh, next up on the block, you're, you're going to see Joker hit 20, and then suddenly it's even. Yeah, I, I think, oh, they're gonna actually try to oh, make a play here on the Apollo, but the Aegis comes out, almost no damage dealt to him. Over the top comes Bacchus, that's an easy kill to Loki. And well, I think overstaying their welcome now is live gaming there. Loki just continuing to struggle. Vamana, he's gonna go in his sprint, already burned, so not gonna be able to continue into the tower, but it shouldn't be any problem for them to go ahead and siege it. Mercury's gonna be on the right side, and uh, uh, Apollo's gonna go ahead and ult over to that, stop that in its tracks as well. And uh, well, can 404 get any kind of objective play off of this is, is my big question now. Uh, there's going to be a Gold Fury coming back up in a few seconds, probably about, let's see, uh, 15 seconds. They, can they get the Tier 2 mid, I'm sorry, Tier 1 mid plus a Gold Fury? Or they can go for Fire Giant? Choices need to be made, 404. Choices need to be made. Uh, speaking of choices, we're going to see a Brawler's Beats that come out from Loki hey, and the Teleport wow. coming out from Tier, but I just don't think he's going to be in time for this one. Yeah, the Aegis is going to come out as well. Oh, the Kraken, oh he's going to get pushed out of the Kraken there. Hate to see that happen. That's right. Uh, and into the infinite web goes the Arachne. She's going to be safe for now. Going to try to go back into this fight. But yeah, as you can see, just starting to burn down to the AoE damage coming out. A nice Whirlpool is going to hit that. four. But that's something we don't see enough of. Poseidon's being picked into Raw and using the Whirlpool as a deterrent for the heal. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, especially it. if you get like a Divine Ruin. If he would have had the Divine Ruin instead of that Bancroft talent and been, you know, going for that counterplay, it also would have been a better deterrent for Vimana. You wouldn't have to get a Brawler's Beat Stick on the Loki. Although it's not the worst item for him, you'd rather have the Titan's Bane in this situation. I would like to see a Pestilence come out as well, get the Divine Root online, go for the 100% reduction. Yeah, Gab's got to be going for that Pestilence after this. Well, let's see. Hey, he's got the Witch Blade. Extra movement speed is good. He's got a lot of physical protection. Needs to get some magic online. That or Magi's. I mean, I just don't see him making big plays when he keeps getting yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's tough to make the big plays without Magi's. You're absolutely right. He's have to get the rollout already in the CC immunity to kind of sneak his way into the Fire Giant. Go take the Gold Fury, boys. It's up. You can take it. You're str stronger. You see Gab backing. All right, there goes Gab back. This is kind of the test of the metal for 404. What are they going to do knowing that Geb has gone back? And I like the play. They're going to go for the fire giant. Question mark? No. No. See backing coming oh, wow. Lot. So, oh, yeah, I mean, I, I think just once again, it's just an indication of kind of these teams st still trying to figure out exactly how to best play the game, you know? Like, with that tier is at the red right now. He's on the wrong side of the map looking towards the gold field. They have Ward spotting out that he's on this side. I mean, like, this should have been a free fire giant. Uh oh, DK Tron in some trouble here. Does he have clear the path? No, he's going to be forced into the ultimate. He's getting low. Ultimate out. Oh, okay. Brawler's they might be actually, able to turn that around, though. Yeah, Brawler's actually paying for itself right there uh, on that kill onto the Vamana. It, it stopped him from healing enough that the Mercury's kind of ultimate coming through and the, and the subsequent in hands was enough to get the kill. Martin? Ooh. Well, he doesn't have his ultimate available either. Joker goes down on the right side here to the Apollo. And Apollo, well, he's looking to kind of get vengeance for his team. Barbaroja, he's starting to take a lot of damage. Martin's just going to try to sneak his way out of this fight. Aegis stun. Damage, damage, damage. Is it going to be enough to kill the Loki? No, knock him from Geb. Should be enough to save oh, him now. Venomous and this fight's fight. starting to turn back towards live gaming. Oh, they're trying. Barbaroja getting very low, trying to just stay alive a little bit while longer. We're going to watch the Poyo. The oh. blink is going to be good. They're going to turn their sights to nicer here. Actually, no, they're going to deter overall. It looks like it was a pretty big trade there, but still a pretty decent advantage once again for 404 as their members are starting to come back up and they can turn their sights to objectives. Yeah, but that's, I mean, like, going back to that play, you see Geb back in the mid lane. You know Tears on the left side of the map. Either go kill him and take the gold fury or take the fire giant there. Once again, 4-4 just kind of fails to capitalize on their advantage and yeah. just continue to leave live gaming windows and doors to go back into this game. You know, a, a few times in my cast I've talked about how sometimes golds, or rather, wor wards are not worth the money. All right. In this case, the wards are not worth the money. If you put a ward down at Gold Fury and you see a tier rotate on top of it when everyone else is right and you don't take that advantage, that's 50 gold in the trash. Right, right, right. If you're not, if you're not doing anything with the information, then what you know, it's it's really of no use to you, and you've just spent money on a uh, like like even there like why did you not just get hit by the rollout and then you just clear the path so you could just stop him from having rollout. It seems like a lot of the matchup knowledge is maybe a little bit behind, but they have time to make that up. Not only you know this could be a, an off game, we still have uh, at least. Five more games to go today. That's right. Yeah, this is the best of three. Game number one here between Live Gaming and 404. 31 minutes in, and, uh, well, it looks like it's pretty square looking at the kills. There is a gold advantage on the side of 404, and it's going to grow here by oh. just a... Why'd he do that? Oh, shucks. Maybe scared of the Loki? Question mark. Level 18 at 31 minutes. I don't know how scared he should be. 
Yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be a burst, especially with an Aegis. Well, Aegis stole down for 15 seconds from Oxy, so. 4v4 uh, here. He got a three-man Kata. Turns his sight to Nicer, who's taking a lot of damage. He's Where down. Where was the peel? Bacchus, I think Bacchus went to the back lines there. Nice. Now Double is coming out onto the tanks. In comes Apollo. He'll be able to do enough damage to take out Joker. And that's good. The AoE crits are gone. Martin's going to Aegis here, and Kraken mistimed as well by the Poseidon there. Uh, Apollo's tanking this. Yeah, Apollo just has no problems, though. I mean, with Serenade, it's going to block a lot of that physical damage. Now comes the Lava Field, but the fight's been taken out of it. Midgardian Male actually has proc'd as well on to Barbaroja. He's kiting around fairly well, dodging a lot of shots, but it's just not going to be enough. Tier not mobile enough without his ultimate to get out of this one. At least one would hope. There he does go down. Martin getting credit for that kill. And this now must be the Fire Giant for Team 404. Indeed it is. They go and start it up, and well, with the Apollo, with the Rage, Executioner, and, well, question mark, Witchblade online, they'll take it down nice and quickly with that pen. We're going to see, actually, yeah, Loki's going to try to work his way in here. I don't know if he oh, should be doing this. He's taken a lot. Yeah, not even close. Uh, did he have the hand available? Yes, he yeah, did. Yeah, he did have Hog 3. A little bit too soon. Which he makes sense, but, yeah, a little, little early. Uh, and without the ultimate there, like, it's just going to be really tough to do that. Like, you really want that ultimate, not necessarily for the stun, but just to close the distance, get to the box, and try to right. snake it away from him. You need to stun out the support. Try to stop them from getting it so you can secure yours. But even so, 404 takes the first Fire Giant of the game at almost 33 minutes. We're going to see a 10,000 experience difference, about 9,000 in gold. And they're going to push up some camps here, start to group up, and I imagine push down that mid lane. This is where Arachne should really split push. Uh, if you look at, like, they what... Have Apollo. Right, but, like, get the Apollo, the Vamana, and the Ra, and the Bacchus in a lane, and the five men of live gaming can't stop that siege. That's true. There's just no way. And Arachne can just farm the map. Like, there's really no reason for her to be there for the new five men. She doesn't really add anything at this stage of the game in that, like, kind of siege-based time team fight. So, yeah, go push up the left side lane, push up the mid lane, make sure they're at the tower so you can go take, you know, take the left, take the right, and then go take the other lanes easily. Um, we'll see if they execute that. And it looks like they will. I mean, that Apollo Bacchus Ra siege, even without the Vamana, like, there's no way that live gaming can break that siege without a Kraken. And a really good Kraken attack. It's going to have to hit at least three in the center for it to be completely a win from their side. Otherwise, they're not going to have the damage. You know, you look at Vimana right now. You check out that build. Now he's going into another Steel Mail combination. This could be anything. They already have a Sav. It could be another Midgardian. It could be a Hide of the Nemean Lion. Yeah. Hide of the Nemean Lion does grant a tremendous amount of HP. Not to mention, it would really hurt Mercury. It's also the most cost-effective physical protection item in the game, I want to say, in terms of sheer value, to capitalize on that Vamana passive. Overall, not too much going on here. Walk into Tower of Fire Giant Buff Boys. Take the tower. Yeah, they have to rush this one down. Nicer's <laughs> the only one with that FG. no problem for them at this stage. Yeah, I mean, just, uh, yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. It's just a little bit of uh, kind of still They waited all that time for the creeps, and VKTron takes the first hit. <laughs> <laughs> So no moving forward here, they're going to go for it. Uh, the Belch is going to oh, force out the Belch. special delivery, and I think he actually hit tier with that. Yeah, he got rid of the Magis Blessing, that's which rough. is really nice for them. They're going to go, and they're going to look to take the tier 2 in the mid. This time, I hope they're just going to You're going to take a fight between the tier 1 and the tier 2, but you're afraid to fight the tower. Oh, why are they backing off here? That was a great engagement. Even 4v5, that was a great engagement. But Arachne finally works her way back. Tier is going to find one that's and an Aegis, Aegis but that was Kraken. not a good Aegis. Good crack in this time, though. Oxy does walk back into it, unfortunately. Uh, uses the Mez as well. Mercury unable to find an ultimate in this one. Now here comes the Vamana. He's got the sprint active. He's in that big baby form. He's starting to do quite he a bit of damage. He, he doesn't know who to focus. Well. He's completely split. He's yeah. hitting a tank. He's hitting a bruiser. He's hitting a tank. He's not going for the carries. Not a lot used there by the ultimate, and a great Whirlpool should deter. I don't know what they're going to be able to do here. In fact, looking at Mercury, has a line back to the fight, but he's kind of low. You also kind of see there why almost every Vamana player in the world builds attack speed on this god right. as at least one of their items. He's so much more effective. He scales actually very, very well off attack speed. His ultimate, that Sleeping Giant, gives him 140 physical power at max rank, which it is now. Oh, so it's not quite as important to get those physical power items. Again, he's built so the tanky. There's just not enough. Oh, nicer with a pretty decent shot there, but the tower is finally going to fall. Uh, they've taken about 3,000 gold worth of objectives off of this Fire Giant, and it looks like they're going to continue forward. Yeah, as well as they should. Um, this should be an easy kill for them. I mean, the Phoenix, there's really very little that live gaming can do here. No cataclysm. With that Apollo Siege as well as he as he makes his way back in. So down goes that mid Phoenix. The fight's going out. Oxy gets in a bit of trouble. He's going to dash out. Tears are not going to be able to really follow it up well. You can see those low damage crits coming through from the Apollo as well with this build that he has. Bruco, is he going to get him? Are they going to get that gab? If they get the gab, they should have an easy you know, really contest of any other Phoenix that they want. They will get him. Now, Vamana, please leave the base. He will indeed clear the path. He's going to avoid the Kraken as well. That's good news for them. Martin doing a lot to Barbaroja. 
in comes the first stream of minions, not fire minions, but it looks like 404 now is feeling themselves to want to finish this game as he get the kill on the Ryuk as well. That Ross knife on target, but didn't matter because so beautiful sealed the deal. And now they go back after taking the mid Phoenix and the remainder of the towers, 404, with a commanding lead, 15,000 experience and 15,000 gold in their pockets. Nicer, actually out of mana, might have been the deterrent there. They could have used the heals to stay alive. I mean, granted it was a 5v2, but they didn't really have a lot of resources left. I think this was a, pr a pretty smart back, honestly. Yeah, but they could have not like dove the Titan and taken another Phoenix pretty simply, I feel like. I think they could have even killed the Titan, but they want to play it safe. Fire yeah, Giant's yeah, yeah. coming I, up, I they don't want to give it back. Titan, like not trying to get the kill there. Um, but I don't feel like getting the kills is worth it because there's no Fire Giant really going to be available to you easily, and there's no Gold Fury up to kind of capitalize on them having no players around to kind of deter you. So take the other Phoenix. Uh, if they would be able to get the left side Phoenix here, it would have been a free Fire Giant coming up in about 30 seconds. Nicer has wasted so much time in the base right now. He should have been back and at Fire Giant already. It's up. Looks like Vision Control immediately going to go to tier, oh. uh, but that should be cleaned up pretty quickly, honestly. Looks like it's going to be a Witchblade on the side of the Ra as well. well that's a lot of Witchblades. That is a lot of those do not stack. No, they don't. True story. Ooh, Aussie on Mercury. That's an interesting item to build. So extra attack speed. The issue here is that actually puts him over the attack speed cap when using maximum velocity. Yeah, I would have. I mean, generally, that's always where we're rather see, see a Titan Bane or a Bloodforge blood instead forge. of that item. Yeah. Like like Aussie's kind of that bridge item because you attack speed, life steal, and pen. Um, but you'd almost rather just see a lot of life steal or a lot of pen over the kind of hybrid item. As you mentioned, that attack speed going fallow, basically. Uh, 404 keeping everyone at bay here. Uh, no casualties just yet. Apollo forcing the Loki here. We should have a 5v4 engagement once Apollo decides to ult over. Well, now well, he's perfectly happy finding a Loki. Loki with a Magi's Blessing. Uh, Apollo, no real threat to him either, but yeah, Mercury, I'm sorry, the uh, the Loki with the itemization that he has is not really a, a large threat to, uh, to old Apollo either. Here comes, well, no Cataclysm after the blink from Bruco, and he's going to get run down here. He's going to have to use his ultimate. It's going to be defensively, it looks like, as a team comes and piles in. They're not a fire, afraid to fight in the Whirlpool. There's the defensive ultimate. Tapoyo's at about half health, not enough just yet. In comes the tier, trying to control Ra. He's going to be able to do so, and, well, Vamana, why is this the target you chose? Yeah, space, you buddy? can't catch Poseidon. He's all movement speed. It's the only only thing Poseidon does well is not get caught by, by Vimana. <laughs> but yeah, he so gets caught by talent. Apollo. They find a kill onto Ryuk. They're going to get Bruko as well. That should be a free fire giant. Yes, good call, 404. Peel back, take it, and then go find yourselves a victory. Should be pretty easy after this fire giant with five still remaining. Yeah, uh, Bruko nowhere to be found on this one. Still has 45 seconds on the respawn. All eyes on THC as he's going to try to work his way in, get the Assassinate on the inside, but he's taking way too much damage. The Assassinate's used defensively, Ooh. and actually, oh, he almost Mystical Mark. Robbie. Mystical Mark. One more tick's going to do it. VK Tron knows where he is. He'll have an Umbrella Ring. No, oh. he farms. How strange. Did he's, not expect that to turn right there. So it looks like we have a Mercury in. Special Delivery going to be used on the right side. Yeah, Still work. two people down. Fire Giant has come up, and it looks like they're going to push down the right side. All right, yeah, this should be a free Phoenix. They they see the Loki's going to be back in the base. He probably won't be able to rally even before this Phoenix goes down. That's two Phoenixes down, one remaining on the far side of the map. Mid's going to be coming back up in the short matter, about five seconds to ten seconds here. Now done under five, so here they come. Middle Phoenix to fall again as well as 404 is going to zone out live gaming fairly well here. And, well, now it's just kind of uh, all over but the fat lady giving us an opera as the is going to move into that Phoenix. It goes down very, very quickly to this Apollo build. And in comes 404. Mana did build a Midgarian, you were right, with that second set of armor. And now, even with a nice Cataclysm there, nothing to follow it up. Those, that kind of like Poseidon plus Geb synergy hasn't really been there this game. Oh, Mercury, Mercury gets a pretty a big nice angle. Here comes the Whirlpool. There might be something to be hey, done here. Hey, Kraken. There might be something to be done here. Arachnid to the backside. No. no, there's nothing to be done. Ryu gets caught. There's very little to be done here. Is it's a very, very large and fat Fabana. Like it's gonna take them a long time to tank that up. And indeed, down will fall the Titan of Chaos. And ladies and gentlemen, this was a uh, a pretty convincing victory by uh, by 404. Yeah. That, that was uh, that was our lovely Eric Vincent running across the screen there, guys. <laughs> Say hi to him too. Hey, buddy. So, yeah, uh, game uh, one, going to go to 404. Game this is the best of three. Four Even though they didn't necessarily execute on all the small pieces that would have made it a 25 to 30 minute victory, right? It was still very convincingly their game. Right. right? They, they were ahead for almost all of it. It was just kind of like, 
capitalizing on those small windows and, and really maximizing your gameplay. Well, that's going to be game one, guys. We're going to cut to a quick break as we get set up for game two, and we'll check back in with live gaming versus 404.